AITA for yelling at my husband and Mill and not letting them into the delivery room. My 29F husband, 32 meters. Jay and me have recently had a baby girl. By recently I mean literally last night. A few weeks ago I was invited to dinner at my mother-in-law's home. She told me she had something important to discuss and I knew exactly what was coming. When I sat down she held my hand and said. Me and Jay have talked and we think it would be best if I replaced your mother in the delivered room. I said I'm sorry but my mother has already been invited and I'm not comfortable not having her there. She started squeezing my hand tighter saying that it's not just up to me. Side note my mill has never been the nicest to me. She would always make snide remarks about my weight and skin color. I said no again and said it is my choice as I am giving birth. The subject was then dropped but when we got home my husband blew up at me saying he has just as much a decision as me in this. I disagree it will be me giving birth and I need my mother there. He said fine and we both forgot about it. Yesterday I went into labor. First I called my husband as he was staying at his mother's at the time. Then after about an hour I called my mother. She was shocked to hear from me and told me my husband said I didn't want her there. I told her I do want her there and she came straight away. My husband got to the hospital about 20 minutes after my mother and when he got there he had brought my mill. I completely lost it. I started yelling at him and scolding him for telling my mother not to come then he started shouting at me for not letting him bring his mother. After he has shouted at me for about five more minutes I told him to leave. I said I didn't want to see him or his mother ever again. I'm still not sure if I meant what I said or not. Because of the stress put on my body the birth became more dangerous but my mother is here for me. The whole way. NTA. Birth isn't a spectator sport. The primary purpose of every single person in that room is to support the person in labor and ensure the health of the newborn when it arrives. His mother no more belongs there than she would in a men's bathroom. Does he try to bring his mommy to support him while he pees? 2. NTA. He violated your trust during one of the most vulnerable moments of your life. You made your feelings clear and he lied to you and tried to take away your support system during labor. His actions were disgusting and his mother should be ashamed of herself as well. And he shouted at you as you were in labor cause his mommy couldn't be there? Wow. Just wow. NTA and what your husband did. Telling your mom that you did not want her there. Was just evil. I do not know where you go from here in this three-way relationship. Congratulations on your new baby and I wish life, love and health for the two of you. NTA. Yes it's his baby too but you're doing the work so it's your uterus your rules. You have AOME serious thinking to do about this man who is clearly still attached at the uterus to his own mother. Super creepy. NTA. I'm always baffled by men not only thinking they have equal say in Brith but actually the authority. I would love to ask your husband questions like why he even thought his mother and not your mother should be there, or how he would feel if you were to tell lies about him. Firstly, congratulations on the birth of your baby girl. Secondly I am sure you will be a wonderful single parent to her and your mom will surely help you. As she sounds very supportive. Thirdly, dump the trashy husband still attached to his mommy's boobies and go as LC as you can with him. Because let's face it, you will always be second place in his eyes. I am sure you thought you were marrying a mature man but many women have been deceived by mommy. Loving children masquerading as men. NTA. Having people with you when giving birth is not for spectator entertainment. It's to support you. Your husband is supposed to be there to support you. Not demand who gets to be there. You were the one who had to carry the child. 
You were the one to feel the side effects of pregnancy and you were the one who pushed another human being out of you. The audacity that he thinks he can dictate that you must have his mother who treats you poorly in a room during the most vulnerable times in your life. If he ever needs a medical procedure which needs him to get naked, tell him that you invited your mother to spectate it. NTA. He actually has zero rights surrounding your birth. I cannot believe the entitlement of some men when it comes to women's bodies. NTA. Your husband sounds like a giant crybaby who throws a tantrum when he doesn't get what he wants. Up either seek counseling or divorce his ass. By the way congrats on the baby. I love how they talked without you and decided it wasn't up to you. That makes my blood absolutely boil. WTF. NTA you are the one giving birth. You are the one who get to chose who's in the room. No one, including your husband or his mother, are entitled to be there. NTA. He doesn't respect you. Do you want to raise a child with somebody so toxic? I document everything and try to get sole custody, alimony, and child support. NTA. Your husband is extremely selfish and risked you and your baby's life for the sake of keeping his mother happy. Please take this as a major wake-up call for yourself and your child's well-being. NTA Wow I can't believe your husband and mother-in-law ganged up on you like that. Then for your husband to go behind your back and tell your mother that you no longer want her in the delivery room. That's the lowest of the low and I would be fuming. As you are the one going through the pain of the labor and delivery it is 100% your choice who you choose to have as your support person, people in the delivery room. It is a privilege not a right. Your husband has got some serious groveling to do. NTA two reasons. One. You have just given birth and so are allowed to shout at your husband all you want for 48 hours for any reason or none. That's the rules. I didn't make them. T and 2. Wow. Your husband literally called your mom and told her you didn't want her there? I'd go and see with Mill. And tell your husband that he and you are going to sit down with a marriage counselor if you're not going to go and see with him too. NTA. And stick to your guns. This dude cares more about his mother than about you. He openly lied to you to get this way. And this won't get any better in the future. You were better without him in the delivery room. And you will be better without him in your life. NTA. You have every right to be comfortable giving birth and you are the only one who has a say in who is allowed there for your comfort while doing so. Obviously the doctor, nurses, medical staff are allowed, etc. When your husband is expelling a watermelon through his D.C.K., then he can have a say. NTA who is in the room when you give birth is 100% up to the person who has to push the watermelon out of their vagina. It's one thing for him to ask if his mom could be present as well, but trying to replace your mom who you wanted there and then going behind your back and telling her you don't. Huge dick move and honestly makes me wonder what kind of person he is in general. NTA. He lied to your mom. He dismissed your comfort. He disregarded your stated preference. He is not a good man to you. NTA. Why is your husband such a penis? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.